national upset. Quadrangle made his first impression when he won the 1963 Pumlico Futurity as a two-year-old, and this was in the mud. It is now post time. They're off. That's Quadrangle in the middle of the track, going to the front. He'll rise along the inside second. Raman third. Portfolio fourth, and Knightley Manor is fifth. Coming by the stand, that's Hill Rise on the inside, getting a neck lead with Quadrangle alongside second. Ramad moving into third position. Portfolio fourth, and Knightley Manor on the rail is fifth. They swing around the clubhouse, turn that way with Hill Rise getting the lead. Quadrangle moving to the outside second. Ramad third. Knightley Manor with Portfolio. Midway around the turn, that's Hill Rise now in front by two and a half lengths. Quadrangle second, Ramad on the inside third. Knightley Manor and Portfolio. They go into the back stretch that way with Hill Rise maintaining a length and a half lead. Quadrangle second, Ramad along the rail third. Couple four lengths, Knightley Manor and Portfolio. They continue along the back stretch that way with Hill Rise showing the way by a length as Quadrangle begins to make a move closer to the leader. Ramad is third, Knightley Manor fourth, and Portfolio is fifth. They go toward the far turn that way with Hill Rise on the rail still in front as Quadrangle moves a bit closer. A gap of four lengths, Ramad is third. Knightley Manor and Portfolio alongside. They swing around the far turn with Hill Rise on the inside and Quadrangle battling for the lead. Ramad is third. Knightley Manor coming on fourth and Portfolio dropping back to left. Midway around the turn, it's Hill Rise and Quadrangle still battling for the lead. A gap of five lengths, Ramad is third. Knightley Manor fourth and Portfolio is fifth. Coming toward the top of the stretch with a quarter of a mile ago, it's Hill Rise and Quadrangle battling for the lead. Ramad coming on with Knightley Manor and Portfolio. Straight down to the stretch, that's Quadrangle on the outside getting the lead. Hill Rise along the rail. Out in the middle of the track, it's Knightley Manor coming on. Gap of four lengths, it's Ramad of Portfolio. Coming through the stretch now, it's Quadrangle in front. Hill rises on the inside rail, and on the outside, it's Knightley Manor. And as they go over the finish line, it's Quadrangle the winner by the half. Knightley Manor second, Hill rise third, and Portfolio was four. Icaza and Quadrangle, with what looks like a pound of mud between them, return to the winner's circle. It helps when you win on a day like this one in this country's oldest stake race. Picasso tosses his bat to his valet, ready to weigh in from the race. The rules of racing permit a jockey to be overweight when he comes back from a muddy track, and they sometimes pick up as much as two pounds on a really bad day. The historic trophies. Manny heads for the scales and the weigh-in. Jockey arrives at the scales, which are protected by striped awning from the rain. The winner heads to the barn to clean up and cool out after his fine race. Owner Paul Mellon and trainer Elliot Birch join Ikaza for the presentation ceremonies. The crowd watches the presentation by Walter Jeffords, Jr. The cup for the Travers, a perpetual trophy, is the last one won by Man o War. It's held one year by the Travers winner. On hopeful day, the canoe in the infield lake has been freshly painted in the melon colors, the new Travers winner. The hopeful is the last stakes of the meet. Time tested is saddled. Mr. and Mrs. John Hay Whitney with jockey club chairman Ogden Phipps, his son and jockey Ussery. John Kelly in the paddock with Mrs. Stephen Sanford and Mrs. Frank McMahon. Mrs. H.C. Phipps, her grandson, Denny Phipps, jockeys Baeza and Ussery, and trainer Bill Winfrey. Baeza climbs aboard the odds-on favorite bowl lad and heads for the race. Bowl lad is followed by his stablemate, Time Tested. The latter is destined to set the pace for the first part of the race. The rest of the field follows on out to the track. Native Charger, Warner Stables Colt. Green Trees O'Hara. And Patrice Jacobs turned to reason. The pink-coated outriders lead the way from Saratoga's tree-shaded paddock. Number one is Bull Lad. 
Number 1A is the Stablemate, Ogden Mills Phipps, time tested. Number 2 is Warner Stables Native Dancer Colt Native Charger, trained by Ray Metcalf, ridden by Garth Patterson. Number 3 is Green Trees O'Hara, named for the famed human runner, Tom O'Hara. And finally, number 4, Miss Patrice Jacobs' Turn to Reason, trained by her father, Hearst Jacobs, ridden by Howard Grant. All carry 122 pounds. Baeza warms up Bull Ladd approaching the gate. The six and a half furlong start. They're off in this two-year-old classic. Ussery has time tested on the lead. After three furlongs, Bull Ladd took command and moved along from that point to a very definite mastery of his field. Baeza had him almost two lengths in front at the half. And entering the stretch, it was four lengths. From the quarter pole down to the finish, the big chestnut colt simply moved on out to finish seven lengths on top, never seriously challenged by the others. Native Charger took second from time tested at the head of the stretch. Bull Ladd's time of 115 and three established a new track record for the distance. Bull Ladd comes back to accept the applause of the crowd near the winner's circle. Jockey Braulio Baeza has to sit patiently for news photographers before he can dismount and unsaddle. It had been a very impressive performance. Coming down from the stands, trainer Bill Winfrey greets him and makes a quick inspection of the highly promising two-year-old. Bull Ladd was to take the futurity in September and the champagne in October before being retired for the season. The impassive Braulio Baeza weighs in from the race before joining others for the presentation. The hopeful trophies. Ogden Mills Phipps represents his family to accept the trophy from James Cox Brady, chairman of the NYRA. A last glimpse of the old grandstand. the architect's model of the new grandstand to be ready for the 1965 season. A close-up view of the model shows extension to the stands, designed to fit in with the traditional Saratoga look. It will have added seating, plus such improvements as a garden restaurant, more escalators, and a great deal more room to provide comfort for its fans. <laughs>